before we start testing, please make sure that the meniscus of the water touches the line as indicated. Otherwise, you may not get an accurate result. For pH, there is no need to shake the bottle. Just add three drops. And once that's done, just give it a little shake and the results will be instantaneous. This test will measure pH from 6.0 up to 7.6. .6. Viewing the results in a well-lit room will help with determining its exact outcome. And as you can see here, the pH comes to around 6.6. .6. High range pH is the same as pH. You add three drops, shake the tube, and the results are immediate. Except this measures pH from 7.4 up to 8.8. .8. This water has a pH of 8.2. For ammonia, we are given two bottles. Take the first bottle, add eight drops, and then shake to ensure uniformity of the drops. There's no need to wait, so we can add eight drops of bottle number two and then vigorously shake the tube for five seconds. Now we have to wait for about five minutes for the color to develop. This water has 0 ppm of ammonia. This is good as you want 0 ppm with an established tank. If it's any higher, do a 30% or more water change to remove some of it. For nitrite, we need to add 5 drops to the test tube. Give it a little shake, and wait for 5 minutes for the color to develop, if any. Just like ammonia, we want this value to be 0 at all times. If it's higher than 0, Please perform a 30% or more water change to remove some of it. Here we have 0 ppm of nitrite. For nitrate, we also have two bottles just like the ammonia test. For bottle number 1, we will need to add 10 drops and shake the tube a bit. Now before we add bottle number 2, we will need to really shake up the bottle for 30 seconds. Please do not forget this part. It is extremely important to ensure an accurate test result. Now that's done, we can add 10 drops of bottle number 2 to the test tube. We then need to shake it for 1 minute. Again, this part is also very important to ensure an accurate test result. But oh no, the test tube is leaking. What can I do? Here's a quick tip. You can heat up an o-ring with a 5 16th inner diameter in hot water and then add it to the cap as shown. Please make sure that the o-ring is completely at the bottom of the cap, or you may end up breaking the tube just like I did. The o-ring will prevent any leaks from happening. Once we completed the quest of shaking the bottle, we've got a new quest of waiting 5 more minutes for the color to develop. If nitrates are higher than 40 ppm, do a 30% or more water change. The more water you change, the better. And as you can see, we have about 10 to 20 ppm of nitrate. And this concludes all of the API Freshwater Master Test Kit. If you are new to this hobby, check out my beginner playlist on the left side. And if you want more content, check out my Fluva Flex series on the right. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep on scaping.